What's up guys? It's Rancium here and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys and no snap. It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys welcome back and happy Wednesday. So today Today you find me once again back in the Shellblad Castle Forges taking a look at the Raven Beak or the Raven's Beak Sword. That is the crafting variant of this. Now I say the crafting variant because there is actually the same mod, but there is a quest to do it. Uh, but I decided I wanted to showcase the crafting one because the sword looks awesome. So in order to get this sword, you do indeed need two things. One, you need the Ebony Smithing Perk. And then you also need a special material brought in with this mod known as Avian Stone. Now, Avian Stone can actually be made within the smelter of all places, and you're going to want to find it right here. So you need two Moonstone Ore, two Hag Raven Claws, two Rock Warbler Eggs, and two Hawk Beaks in order to create one of the Avian Stone. Now, I have a whole bunch of these in my inventory, and I actually have the swords in my inventory as it is, but... Let's go and check out the price of these swords down in the ebony crafting section of the smith. So we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down and we see four options right down here. So for the raven's beak one-handed, to craft it from scratch is one steel ingot, one ebony ingot, one leather strip, one quicksilver ingot, and one avian stone. Then to turn it into, I guess, another one-handed, it requires a two-handed sword and then a steel ingot? Not exactly sure what this is. I, I don't know what either of these do. It doesn't change anything with the sword. So we'll just take a look at these ones for now. To make the two-handed version, you also only need one steel ingot, one leather strip, one ebony ingot, one quicksilver ingot, and one avian stone. So altogether, it's the same price for the two swords. And uh, that's kind of nice, honestly, especially if you're on a budget, uh, with moonstone or avian stone being a bit expensive. So if we go and take a look at the grindstone, we can actually go ahead, if I could access the damn thing, we can actually go ahead and see that you can improve it by using one ebony ingot and one quicksilver ingot as well. For both of them, it just takes one of each, with the one-handed version going from 15 to 26, and the two-handed version going from 27 to 38. Pretty nice, honestly. But let's take a look at the actual blade itself, because we haven't done that yet. So we're back in the Shellblad Armory, and we can go ahead and take a look at each of these swords respectively. Now, the left-hand side one is the two-handed variant, and the right side one is the one-handed variant. We'll start with the one-handed, and then we'll go up to the two-handed, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like in your hands, because I think that's going to be a big determining factor on whether or not people download this mod. But as we get closer, we can see that the textures are very, very high resolution when you get close to the blade compared to the weapon plaque and the wall that's behind it. I mean, honestly, I'm just getting right next to it. Look at that. It's even got clouds in it. That's kind of crazy. No, but the blade itself almost looks wooden, and I think that's kind of cool based on the way that the steel is actually laid out. Now, I don't actually know what the name of this type of sword is. I know it probably has kind of a regular name, you know, like how some swords are long swords, some are bastard swords, some are kopeshes, some are, you know, scimitars, everything like that. I'm not exactly sure what this type of blade is called, but nonetheless, it's a very well-crafted sword, and I think you get a lot of bang for your buck. It almost looks like we have a little bit of Damascus steel on kind of the bottom right there, and that's kind of cool. So the blade itself is quite large. In fact, this is only the one-handed version, but if we take a look at the two-handed version, it's just a bit bigger. And I mean, it'll scale up when it's inside of your hands, so it definitely does look a lot bigger. But I love the engraving, and I love the kind of bevels that go across and go up the blade. They look really, really cool as it goes and turns with the blade. Now we're going to go ahead and take both of these back. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and... Can I please grab it off of there? Just going to go ahead and show this to you what it looks like in your hands. Because I, like I said, I think this is probably going to be the biggest thing for people. So with the one-handed version, you can see this. Looks pretty nice. I could definitely dig it. I like the way it looks. And it swings quite nicely. And being able to have a one-handed version is kind of nice, because then you can also have a shield with you. Or if you want to dual-wield two of them, that's totally fine as well. And then we've got ourselves the two-handed version. And the two-handed version does look a bit weird as a greatsword. I think that's my biggest problem with it at the moment. is because normally with a sword like this, I would not see this as a greatsword-type sword. And I think that's why, because it's kind of just bent the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks a little bit silly. Now, obviously, you're not going to hold it like the other way, or else you're going to be hitting people with the, the dull end of the sword. It's going to be more like a baseball bat than a, than a sword. But I think it does look a bit strange, a bit silly, being a, in a greatsword variant. But the one-handed sword 
absolutely looks awesome. But let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. Would you use this sword? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, are you going to use this in your next playthrough? Or are you going to use it now? Let me know what you're thinking down there in the comment section. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts on the blade are. But until next time, thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next showcase.